It was a bewildering twist of fate. Suddenly, I found myself in my mother's body, and she was in mine. The sensation was utterly disorienting, like stepping into a new skin that didn't quite fit. As I looked at my own face, now aged and lined, I couldn't help but feel a surge of empathy for my mother's experiences over the years. My mom, Martha, was similarly taken aback by this uncanny switch. We stumbled through the initial adjustments, both awkwardly trying to navigate our changed bodies. It was strange, to say the least. I had to learn how to manage daily tasks in a body that was quite different from what I was used to. The way my hips swayed as I walked, the unfamiliar weight of breasts on my chest, it was all bizarrely foreign yet fascinating. One morning, as I stood in front of the mirror, I couldn't help but chuckle. There I was, now Martha, dressed in a yellow skirt and high heels. Surprisingly, moving and walking as a woman felt natural, almost instinctive. It was as though my body had a muscle memory I wasn't aware of. Still, every step I took reminded me of the absurdity of the situation. We had responsibilities to fulfill, though. An important meeting was on my schedule for the day, and Martha's role was to find a solution to our predicament. As I stepped out into public, I noticed the glances from strangers, a mix of curiosity and judgment. It was strange to be on the receiving end of those looks, but somehow, I managed to carry myself with a semblance of confidence. The discomfort of this switch was undeniable, yet there was an odd satisfaction in embracing this new perspective. The high heels clicked on the pavement, and the skirt swirled around my legs as I walked, reminding me of the countless times I'd seen my mother in similar attire. Now I understood the grace and poise she carried herself with, despite the challenges she might have faced. Martha, on the other hand, was adjusting to my body's strength and movements. She managed surprisingly well, although I could sense her unease beneath the surface. We exchanged thoughts throughout the day, sharing our observations and feelings about this strange experience. As the day unfolded, we realized that we were not just navigating each other's bodies, but also their roles and responsibilities. The laughter we shared was cathartic, the sight of me, now Martha, trying to fix a broken computer with tools I had never used before was nothing short of comical. Yet, we were determined to make the situation work. The juxtaposition of our personalities in each other's bodies created moments of hilarity and insight. By the end of the day, we hadn't found a solution, but we had gained a newfound appreciation for each other's lives. This bizarre switch had taught us empathy, patience, and the importance of understanding perspectives different from our own. Walking a mile in each other's shoes, quite literally, was a lesson neither of us would ever forget, even if we chose not to reveal our peculiar experience to anyone else.